check out this shot. What am I doing here? No, I'm not in a lazy boy. I'm actually riding a bike. Yes, a super upright, step through, comfortable bike. It feels a lot like a lazy boy. Hey guys, I'm Tom and this is Shifter, a channel all about urban cycling and bike commuting. And today I'm asking a question. Is your riding position on your bike a state of mind? Hmm, let's see. You've probably seen bikes like this in your city, usually ridden by some amazingly dressed woman who looks like she's having so much fun, casual, laid back, enjoying herself. Yeah, well, these bikes are uh, pretty rare, actually, in North America these days. And it's funny because uh, when you look at this bike, you probably think, oh, that's a girl's bike, uh, which is weird, even though this is actually a girl's bike. It's a giant brand bike. It's in their live brand, which is for women. But it's funny, as a kid, I remember calling any bike with a step-through frame was called a girl's bike, which even as a kid made no sense to me um, because with a high crossbar, aren't you more likely to squish your balls on that? Anyway, these bikes are super common in the Netherlands and in Copenhagen where people ride bikes every day for transportation. Actually, true Dutch bikes are pretty rare here in North America. In fact, I know a guy uh, in Canada who was so desperate for Dutch bikes, he actually like went over, bought up a bunch of used ones and shipped them all back to Canada to give them away to his friends. Good job, Anders. But we don't see a lot of Dutch bikes here in North America for reasons I can't quite fathom. I mean, they're, they're practical, they're comfortable, they last forever. And I suspect it's something to do with the impression these bikes have. These bikes are seen as unathletic and most bike retailers are not that interested in selling bikes that are not for sport. But I am seeing the influence of Dutch bikes more and more, especially on urban bikes. This is a bit of a weird one. Actually, it's not a true Dutch bike. It's kind of got the right frame, but uh, it doesn't have the handlebars that wrap around. It's got way too many gears and it doesn't have internal gearing, which is one of the tenets of Dutch bikes. But you can see in this bike the influence of the classic Dutch frame. And yes, bikes like this are super comfortable, but there's something else about them. Riding a bike like this is a whole different activity than riding a bike that's built for sport, which is mostly what you see here in North America. In fact, when I ride a bike like this, I almost find myself in a different state of mind. I'm going to try to convince you today that a Dutch bike is a state of mind as much as a machine. Oh, hey, a quick interruption here. While I was editing this video, I realized I was maybe not all that clear on some things. There are Dutch bikes that are step-through frames, but there are also Dutch bikes that have high crossbars. There's men's and women's Dutch bikes. In the rest of this video, when I say Dutch bike, what I'm really talking about is a bike with an upright riding position. You know, where you sit back and you're relaxed. Just wanted to clarify that. Thank you. Let's compare the differences in a frame like this towards a typical commuter bike here in North America and a more athletic bike. There's such a difference in it that it really dictates the way you ride. On the road bike, for example, you're leaning so far forward that you almost can't help but be aggressive and fast. The frame is light. Often they're made of materials like carbon or titanium, making them super light, super fast. The gearing is made to make them fast. And just by leaning forward, it puts you in a state of mind. You want to go fast. You feel aggressive. You want to win that race. A mountain bike also puts you in a similar position in which you're leaning forward. Your arms are really wide because you need that security. You need the control. Your bike is loaded with gears. It's just meant to tackle that trail that the wheels are fat. It just puts you in a different state of mind. Now check out the frame on this Dutch bike. For one, you're sitting almost completely upright. You're leaning back. Your feet are almost in front of you, which totally changes the position. It's like sitting on a recliner. That's why I called it a lazy boy. Often the handlebars curl back towards you so you don't have to stretch forward. It just changes the, the way you approach the ride completely. And let me tell you, they are comfortable. And you're probably thinking, so what? So the bike is comfortable. You can get lots of other comfortable bikes too. But these bikes are comfortable in a different way. And what I mean by a state of mind is that when you're riding it, it just changes your whole approach to riding. I'd go so far as to say that it changes your view of the world. When you're riding a bike for sport, you are aggressive. Almost can't help yourself but go fast. And you want to win that race. Even if you're being passed by someone on your commute and you're not even in a race and the other person doesn't even know when you're in a race, I often find myself wanting to beat them, which makes no sense at all. But on this bike, you're not like that at all. You're, you sit back, uh, you can't help but look around, take in the surroundings, enjoy things, you slow right down. It's just such a lazy, comfortable, relaxing experience, completely different. I even think that when you get to the end of your ride, you can feel different. When I get somewhere on a fast bike, I feel, I feel great. I have that athletic buzz. Endorphins are going and the sweat is going and you get off. It's like a post-workout buzz and it feels amazing. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But when you're on this bike and you get to your destination, I love just rolling up, putting out the kickstand, locking it up and just strolling away. You just like, you're so relaxed. You enjoyed the journey. It gives you like a real Zen moment in your day. So what's holding us back? Why don't more people ride bikes like this? Um, especially for comfort. Well, we are seeing more of them, but I do think there is a bit of a stigma around these bikes. I mean, this, this really is, 
a girl's bike. I, I admit I was feeling a little self-conscious riding it over here. You know, maybe the purple basket helps it. But that's ridiculous. I mean, it's just a bike. It's just a machine. It's not, it's, it's a gender neutral machine. So any of us can ride this bike. They're very practical. And um, I guess I'm just, I'm not here to, to convince you that you should run out and buy a bike like this. I'm just saying for an urban transportation vehicle, I think these kind of bikes are underrated. I'd love to see more of them on the streets. And so that's what I mean when I say, um, Running a Dutch bike is a state of mind. It's just a completely different experience. And I'm not saying one's better than the other. I'm just trying to open your eyes a bit to the, the fact that there are differences in riding bikes. And when, if you're looking for something that's relaxing and for transportation, maybe look at a bike that has some Dutch influence. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope that helps. See you next time.